Hi everyone, I used to have problems with my nails, but now I found a solution. Let's find out. Twenty minutes later. Who am I? I'm the greatest. Who am I? I'm getting paid, bitch. Who am I? I'm so flavored. Who am I? So taste flavor. So that's how I make my, my nails. I do them regularly. I go to a nail studio and do them almost each three weeks, one or one time per month. It depends on how much I'm practicing and how much I'm using my nails. Uh, the material used are acryl, acrylic, acryl in German and acrylic in English. I used to use also the gel, but I realized that the acrylic is more is stable and fits the sound I'm looking for, which is good. I never realized the importance of having uh, good nails or, or uh, the, importance of, the importance of the nails for, for the sound until I arrived to Germany. I came to Germany and my first lesson in Germany was basically just finding my nails. I spent it with a professor, he was finding my nails and showing me how to do them. And then it hit me. Wow, okay, it's important. I need to focus on having a good tone and good nails and it really changed your play, your performance um, as a guitarist when you're playing nylon strings of course. So um, that's my story with the nails. Whether you are using your natural nails or your artificial nails, I can give you a couple of tips that helps you improving the tone and how I, you file them, which shape you have to file them. There are a lot of um, arguments about which better shape is but generally speaking uh, it's kind of acceptable everywhere from around all the guitars that the best shape is actually it's called lipstick shape this is the perfect shape because when you are when you are blocking the strings you want to have it uh, really sliding through the ramp you created we created so it generate better tone how to file them? I use this filer, which is a hard one in the beginning for, for, for just making the shape, shaping them. And um, I try not to go 90, 90 degrees on the nail, rather than not like this, rather than maybe from, from down a little bit below, cutting them from below. So I create kind of an edge, and which we, because we don't want to shorten the nails basically, we just want to form them. Um, and after I'm done with this, I go to the second step. The second step will be basically using a smoother filer and just go now more a little bit harder on them. Try to basically just improve the tone and just like make them very uh, soft, the nails, because every non, non scratchy, I would say. Another one, tip number three, also which is a little bit more. I mean, it's more common between guitarists as well, is to use the sandpaper. Sandpaper is a great tool and I personally uh, love the advice from Paco de Lucia, one of the most important guitarists of all time, how he was filing his nails. He would put basically this sandpaper around one string, he would just roll it like this and then he will start pretending to be playing, basically just playing on the sands and keep doing it. For, for a while and also we'll do it the same with the thumb. The thumb we have to pay attention that we are doing it other way around. This is important. So that was it for today's episode of Guitar Therapy. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and tell me what you think if it's important for you to care of your nails as a guitarist or not. See you. Bye bye.